the issue to do with global, the issue to do with uh, the United States of America and the happenings, especially the attempted assassination of the former president, President Donald Trump, it is very regrettable and very unfortunate as a country and as the citizen of this country, Zambia, we know that America has been enjoying democracy for the past 200 years. And for us, we copy our democracy from them and seeing America engaging in political violence it was very unfortunate, very unfortunate. And we wish the quick recovery to the former president, Donald Trump, as he's covering from the wounds he sustained during that uh, attempted assassination. As a citizen of this country, and as a politician, I want to take this opportunity to declare my support of the 47th incoming president of the Republic of the, the United States of America, Donald Trump. Yeah. And my endorsement of Donald Trump, yeah. I have seen that is the only person who can bring stop to some of the nonsense which we have been seeing globally. One, the issue to do with the Ukraine war. We hope and trust that uh, Donald Trump can stop this fight which has been going on in Ukraine. We want to also declare that Donald Trump he has been pushing for a very good uh, policies of respecting the Africans, the blacks in America, and he wants to create jobs to those Africans in America. We also believe that uh, the core of Donald Trump and his uh, running mate, J.D. Vance, that to make America great again, it is a very good move. And we want to encourage African governments to emulate what Donald Trump is doing. Africa, we have everything. We have everything in this continent. But we always run to America. We run to IMF. We run to World Bank to seek for funds. Those World Bank and IMF, they can never develop Africa. This Africa will be developed by us, Africans. So we want to encourage Donald Trump that your call of making America great again is a good call, and we encourage you to do that, and we encourage to ourselves to emulate what Trump wants to achieve in America. And Donald Trump, come November, he'll be back as the President of the United States without any challenges. We have seen that uh, the Democrats, they have nominated a woman as a, uh, the nominee for 20, 24 November elections in America. But for us, we will support Donald Trump. And on that call, we will contribute $1,000 to the Donald Trump campaign and fundraising team. We want to be part of it. We want America to be great so that the world will be great again. We don't want this confusion which is happening in Africa. We don't want this confusion which is happening in the world. We want this world to be peaceful so that we can stay as human beings. And the only person who can do that 
is President Donald Trump. And today we want to change his name from let us make world, uh, America great again to the bulldozer of the world. Yeah. So Donald Trump, so Donald Trump will be calling him the bulldozer of the world. He's going to conquer all these issues which we are seeing in Ukraine and other issues. That the issue to do with the illegal immigrants in the uh, United States. We want to encourage Donald Trump to make sure that you put that to the stop, especially Africans. Stop illegal Africans coming to America. We want these Africans to develop our own countries. They can go to America to get uh, education and come back and implement that in our country. We need them. We need them to work here. We need Africa to develop. We need Africa to develop. And it can only develop when we have Africans who are committed to develop this country, this continent. So for me, these are the few words which I had for the people of Zambia and for the people of Africa and for the people of the world. We want to thank all of you. We want to thank Mother Zambia. And we want to thank you, journalists. You have been working under difficult conditions, under difficult challenges. But please, educate and inform our people on the things which have been happening in our country, across the borders, and in the group world. The people want to know. The people want to know. And when you see corrupt ministers, tell the people that these are corrupt ministers. So today, we have told the president, Mr. President, you have got all nice MPs in parliament under UPND. Fire Kapala. Fire Kavuswe. Fire Masevo. Fire uh, Mutolo. And many other ministers are not performing. Don't look at their faces. Don't think, no, I was with them when I was campaigning. That was time for campaigning. This is the time to do real issues. Real issues, not campaigns. Real issues. Issues which is affecting the people of Zambia. You need people who can help you. We have young people in that parliament. The Kangombes. The Kambitas. Name them. You have a lot of young people. The Mwandi member of parliament. You have a lot of young men and women in, uh, in, uh, in parliament. Mr. President, there is no one who has got a qualification to be a minister. Anyone can be a minister. Anyone can be a minister. So let us have the Zambia which we want. And the Zambia we want, we want a Zambia where our people have three meals a day. Our people have money to pay the bills. Our people will take their kids to school. And these are the few words I had for all of you. I thank you, and may God bless you all.